Chris Review Stuff. Today we're going to be doing a review on this pressure cooker that we picked up. Uh, this one in particular is the reason we picked it up is because it's got Wi-Fi capability. So it has an app that you can connect to and monitor the cooking while you're away or start the cooking while you're away as well. I'm a sucker for that Wi-Fi stuff. A lot of the things we have in the, in the kitchen that I, I like, the gadgets, I have the Wi-Fi capability, which is pretty cool. Our sous vide machine has a, the Wi-Fi capability too. It's a nice feature, however, I don't use it that often, but I'm a sucker for it. And that's why we picked up this Cuppet one. So this is the six quart Cuppet pressure cooker. This thing, they say it does everything and it's a pressure cooker, so they really do a lot of stuff. They don't just cook meat. This one in particular has buttons on it for white rice, porridge, soup, multigrain rice, which is your brown rice, your forbidden rice, um, sterilized, so you can sterilize baby bottles and anything else inside of it. Slow cook and a saute, uh, just on that side. The saute is really good. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna saute your meat before you pressure cook it to give it that nice brown color, some texture to it as well. All you have to do for that is if you put the meat in this pot and uh, it gets this pot really hot inside here, this pot will get really hot and the meat on the bottom will get a nice brown on it. And then you can continue to, then you put the top on, you'll continue to, to cook it in the, power, in the pressure cooker. On the bottom of this, is a button as well. You can see up in the center there, that button is, um, that button right now is raised. When I put this pot back inside of it, it'll push it down so it knows that there's a pot in there and that it should turn on and cook. One of the features that's really nice about it, it's kind of safe um, and it doesn't allow you to burn anything. It doesn't turn on when there's no pot inside of there or something to press down on that. So back to the cooking features on the other side, the right side you have your beans, meat, poultry, steam so you can steam your vegetables in this cake which is i've been looking now that we have a pressure cooker what else can we cook in it besides meat and potatoes and stuff well cake um really weird right but a lot of people are posting things that you can make like a chocolate lava cake with this eight minutes you can make a awesome chocolate lava cake so i don't haven't tried that yet but definitely gonna try that soon because that's pretty cool um there's some other cakes you make too but that one really stands out to me you can make yogurt, not, not, I have no idea. And then also the start button. So you can set your time here. You have a delay start. If your Wi-Fi set up, like I said too, we'll show you the app as well. And um, a keep warm feature. So when you're done cooking, you can take the top off and keep your food warm. And this thing will cook potatoes five to seven minutes. You know, pressure cookers are awesome because of that. They cook things fast. You're gonna cook meat between 40 minutes and 60 minutes. Um, I think rice, white rice is like seven minutes, brown rice is 12 minutes. So really, really fast, uh, like time-saving abilities right here in this in a pressure cooker. So it's what a lot of people are using right now because you can save a lot of time and spend more time with your family because you just throw everything in this and it cooks it in 10, 15 minutes. You know, meat's gonna take a little longer, obviously, but you can cook a lot of the stuff in here really fast. And it turns out pretty good. So the top here, um, it's got a lot of safety features. So just right off the bat, if I put the lid on, it's yelling at me that the lid is on and not closed correctly. So I have to turn it. Now it's gonna let me go ahead and make some feature, pick what I want to do. But it's not gonna let me do that unless the lid is on correctly. So that's pretty neat. Second feature I really like is there's a, there's a, a Pressure, I want to say maybe like a bolt or a screw here. I don't know what the correct feature is. It's red. So what it does is when the pressure builds up inside the pressure cooker, this bolt here, uh, I'll get closer for it. This bolt, when the, when the pressure is there, it's going to press this bolt up. And what that does is this bolt here is in this hole. It doesn't allow you to open it. So this is the open button, this red button you see on the screen. It doesn't allow you to open the Instapot because that bolt, there's too much pressure built up and you can't open it. It's not safe to open this for a lot of pressure inside of there. So what you're going to have to do is use this obviously to vent, you know, to exhaust some of that, the, uh, the pressure, either slowly, naturally, or, you know, over time. Once that pressure has been relieved, this bolt will then drop down, allowing you to press this red button all the way down and be able to open it. So a nice safety feature. These are, these can be really dangerous. I mean, that's, it's not a, not a, not a joke. Um, so it's one thing to help keep you safe. If you're doing a lot of things in the kitchen, it's a nice feature. It's a good thing to know. They do also recommend the first time you use this just to put water in it and cook it for 30 minutes with the pressure, with the pressure feature. What that's going to do is it's going to make sure that you 
and this, that you know what you're doing, and also that this seal, this rubber seal on here, which can be removed to clean, that this seal is on this on this top correctly, um, so that nothing can happen. Nothing, nothing nothing's going to explode. No damage is going to be caused. You're not going to be harmed by extreme extreme pressure and hot food or water inside. So they say that first time you use it, read the book that it comes with, and it'll tell you what to do. All right. So we cooked the pork loin today in this, and it's really easy to set up. You just go ahead and hit your meat button on the side and it takes care of everything else. Once it's done, it'll go ahead and make a couple beeps and you know the food's done. You can come over here, relieve the pressure on the top of this valve. And in a couple minutes, you can come back and take this top off. Like I said, that bolt will be down and you can take the top off safely and remove your food from it. Take your food. Your, we just had meat inside. We didn't do potatoes or anything inside of there as well, just the meat. Took our meat out, put it on a thing, on a tray, and we cut it up. The pot inside, take it out, you can dump it into a garbage bag, you can throw it down the drain, whatever you want, but really easy to clean. That pot itself is the only thing you clean as well. You do kind of rinse the top in case it does get dirty, but it's, um, again, really fast to clean. The whole thing, the whole experience with this, product, this pressure cooker here is fast, quick, easy. This one, really nice with the, with the Wi-Fi feature. Um, again, all you have to clean is the lid, you kind of wipe it down, and you clean the pot that the food's in, the food actually touches. Fast to clean, fast to cook. You can cook potatoes in this, seven minutes, sweet potatoes, it's awesome. Great, really great purchase that we made. Glad we picked this up. It comes with everything you need, really easy instructions to read. The Wi-Fi app is pretty easy to use. Um, you're gonna have to create an account though for it, which I think is a little kind of a pain, but uh, you create apps, you create user accounts for pretty much everything now. I wish it would just be, you know, what do you want to hook up? And that's it, I don't need to create an account because I have to go ahead and get your email. It's gonna send you a pin, you're gonna confirm it in the app. It is what it is. But another thing with that app is it works with a lot other, a lot of their other um, appliances as well. You can get Suvay machines, you can get uh, outlets, um, window alarms, uh, door alarms. There's a lot of other functions that they have, a lot more, uh, like actually gadgets in the kitchen or gadgets in the house, I should say that work with that app too. So you can learn a little bit of what else you can do with it. So if it's just, this is your first Wi-Fi gadget in the house, smart device in your house, it's gonna actually hopefully broaden your, you know, your horizons a little bit. Cause there's a lot of cool stuff out there that you can do with Wi-Fi. And when you're not home, you can cook, you can check your food, you can turn it off, whatever you need to do, which is a nice, really nice feature. So the Cuppet, really cool, um, really good purchase. I'm glad we picked up a pressure cooker. It's been a while. Uh, we've been wanting to pick one up and I'm just kind of just shopping around. I did not want to buy the big brand that everyone has because it's just kind of, I'm kind of against, you know, having to buy the big brands kind of deal. But um, I'm glad we picked this one up because again, it's got the Wi-Fi, easy to use, easy to clean, and it's cool looking. It, it feels like it's really built sturdy as well. It's kind of heavy, so it gives me that, you know, this is going to hold up for years to come. The buttons feel really good. They're tactile. And I kept the... Um, Kept the protector on here, so it's got that, that screen protector. That's why the buttons look a little funky. But um, you can take that off. I keep it on because I know I'm gonna be touching my dirty fingers and I can just wipe it down a little easier than that. Cool, cool product. Glad we picked it up. And I recommend if you're looking for one, this cup, it's pretty good so far. So way to go.